Hey, Governor Justice, can you tell us why you wanted to come up here? Well, I, I sure do want to be able to come and see the progress that we're making and everything in the area and all that. And, and I know tomorrow we're opening an, in, a, a, an inbound you know, ramp over here off 250 and everything. It'll be going through the tunnel. These fellows are kind enough to tell me a whole lot about that and everything. The great part about it is just, all, you know, not long, I guess not, not too long, in October, early October or whatever, we're going to open this exit ramp here and everything off the 70. And, 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 and I just found out really truly, they've got a commitment from the contractor that swank and everything and they're doing unbelievable work, but the whole the whole effort right now is to try to be open and everything as many areas they possibly can for the festival of lights. That's really good. No, I last time you were up here this was to announce the project to see everything that's happened since then. It's kind of cool for you to see all this progress. Well, I mean, you know, the fellow Jordan Dammers right here with us on the way in, he said this is what two hundred and fourteen million dollars will do for you. And so so Really and truly, uh, there's a lot of truth to that, but uh, but you got to have a lot of great work by our highway department and everything, as well as the contractor and everybody coordinating together. And you see what's happening; it's good stuff. I know you've talked a lot about roads in the state over the last four years, really um, in the midst of the Interstate 70 project, also looking at the uh, downtown. Can you talk a little bit about the infrastructure of this area and the ways that you guys are Well, I mean, Wheeling is not only a beautiful and wonderful and, and vital community to the state of West Virginia, but you know, they have embraced me and I just love all the people to death. And it's really, really been good. That part's really good. From the standpoint of the streets downtown, I think now that's on, on in motion to do next summer and everything. And, and really and true, it needs badly to be done. And, and, I, and I've really been pushing hard for that because it's a crying shame. I mean, if we're gonna market wheeling, We've got to have our streets and everything really in great shape downtown, but but th this is such an area that can grow so much, and there's so many opportunities here and everything. So just, just from the standpoint of that, you know, first and foremost, everybody asks about schools, but the next thing that everybody that comes to me asks about is roads. You know, how do we get around, and how do we get in and out and everything? And so it's vital to being able to attract people to come to our state to provide jobs. Just come here, seeing it, talking a little bit with the engineers. How's your confidence for when the other side of the road closed down? Just taking a quick glimpse here. Are you confident that it'll go just as smoothly? Well, I, absolutely, I am. I mean, I think these guys are doing fabulous work. I think we're going to we're going to wrap up before the midday deadline of 2022. And 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 you know, I know it's an inconvenience to people and everything. But it is, it's a safety issue, as well as absolutely a way that we can really get around and get around in a more expediting way and everything. It, it's, a, it's really good stuff, and these people have done great work. Okay.